Hey, what's up, man? It's another boring video today because honestly, I don't really have anything going on with the car. But what I wanted to do was uh, slap on the turbo manifold just to check for some clearances and stuff like that and to get some new photographs and stuff like that for my Instagram page to keep you guys wondering when I'm gonna finish this car, which is probably never. But that's really all that's going on. And I, I know people like some video content, so I figured I'd try to catch a couple shots for you guys. And um, I'll show you a little bit more of the tubular core support that I had installed or partially installed anyway. A couple of people noticed that from the previous video. Anyway, let's get to it. field or whatever and it was just like a car that wasn't even supposed to be for sale from this little small lot but I just asked the dude about it and he sold it to me but uh long story short this front corner of my car already had damage you know from the previous owner and stuff so it had like a it's a fake OEM hood fake OEM bumper this fender is fake and um this whole section of the original core support was all it was kind of mangled and stuff but it, it was in such a way that like it kind of looked like it was all right you know like they repaired it properly but they didn't and um, it's just getting worse and worse over time. Um, some people might have noticed it in older videos. You can see like this whole corner, like it kind of moves and stuff like that, especially under speed. And uh, it just it just wasn't solid. And uh, doing a tubular core support was a lot easier than um, getting a factory core support, drilling out the old one, putting a new one in there, welding it in and everything like that. So I just went with this because um, this tubular core support is 100% bolt in. So it makes it super easy, you know what I mean? It, it bolts to um, the original spots where the crash bar bolts up, up front. So you have that, and then uh, you can make some other uh, holes and stuff like that in your fender areas to uh, fully bolt it down. But I mean, it's, it's extremely sturdy, it's real strong. Everything on it lines up perfectly from the headlights to the bumper, the grill, and everything like that. Um, I got it from a guy out west, um, my man Walter Hernandez, AKA Wally built. That's Wally underscore built. I'll make sure to put that on the screen somewhere. Uh, hit him up. I hit him up on Instagram, you know, chopped it up with him real quick, let him know what I wanted, and um, he was able to knock it out real quick, man. And um, it, it's good quality. I'm, I'm happy with it. Nice and strong. It's, it's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Another reason I went with the tube of the core support was um, so I could have all this extra space up front. Just gives me a lot more room for piping, intercooler, stuff like that. Just opens up all that area. And um, I had a couple of people DM me and ask me about it uh, if they think that they should go with the tube of the core support. A couple of things you want to consider is that um, you're going to need to run like some hood pins or something like that because it removes the whole section where the OEM hood latch goes. and um, what Walter did, he added these extra tabs here that allow you to run your hood pins right there. So, I mean, it's all good to go, you know, right out of the box. Like, it can't beat this quality right here. I think this is pretty good. I also had a guy hit me up uh, in the comments and asked me how I ran my shifter cables. So, let me help you out with that. It's, it's nothing special. I have my cables right here, and I'm not running a heater. So I ran right through the OEM heater port, right there on the firewall. If I can get it in focus. And then from there, 
it just runs straight to the shifter box. So nothing special, nothing complicated. Just comes right through the firewall right there, runs up right behind the console, straight into the shifter. All right, let me yank off this old exhaust. And this is why I test fit stuff for little things like this so I could make sure I go over extra details to get everything just right. Like uh, my spacing from the manifold itself to the shifter cables. I'm gonna just put a little heat wrap on those eventually to keep those safe. And um, I'm gonna rotate my throttle body around so that way I have a little more slack in that cable and I can kind of drop that down so it'll sit under the wastegate a lot better. But Overall, everything's looking good, just like I planned it. So, yeah, that's, that's really all I'm doing today, just getting a good look at things. Like I said, I'm gonna grab a couple of pics, post that online for you guys. And uh, that's about it, man. Nothing much going on right now. So, it is what it is, man. Hope y'all enjoy the content. I appreciate everybody that's been watching and uh, leaving comments and stuff like that, a little feedback and hit me up, and direct messages, you know, and. Reaching out to me with any questions y'all have, I'm, I'm always happy to help, man, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.